There is a wholesomeness to you that is admirable. Peter Parker, awesome dude. It says it on my business card. Seems like you have got a lot on your mind. You could say that. Do you need to share? I always wanted to be good at my job, but now I think it's possible to be so good you're actually terrible. Explain. Okay. I really wanted to show off how I could get a sample of Venom's symbiote, right? And you did. Right! Yay me! But in getting it, I left poor Eddie trapped under a heap of rubble. We are all going through the same thing. For every victory, there will be a cost. Some worse than others. I wish I could be as cool as you. I just keep imagining Eddie and the symbiote trapped under all that stone and brick. I never wanted to hurt them, you know? I never wanted to hurt the guy, you know? I know, Peter. Eddie Brock may be troubled, sure, we all are. I guess that's why I can't shake the feeling that there's more I could have done. Like digging him out of the rubble? No. I mean helping him turn his life around. The way real heroes are supposed to. Who knows? Maybe you will someday. Yeah, big emphasis on maybe. If only Tony or Strange invented some kind of time machine, I could go back and keep Eddie from going down this path. Stranger things have happened. Thanks for the chat, Hunter. I've got a lot to think about. If anyone needs me, I'll just be here, sighing deeply. <sighs> No, absolutely not. You go too far, Nico. Last time you tried to save Wanda, you almost got us all killed. I will not let you risk the safety of this Abbey again. Listen to yourself. I think I have a way of purifying Lilith's corruption, a way of bringing back both Wanda and Banner, and your response is to shut me down. I told you time and time again, there is no way of removing corruption. Just because you failed and never found a way of doing it doesn't mean I can't. What are you so afraid of? That I'll actually succeed? No, I'm afraid you're becoming just like Wanda. Oh, I see how it is. You always hated her, and now you're gonna turn that hate on to me too. That's not what I meant. Nico, wait. Let me explain. I don't need your explanation. I need you to stay out of my way. Let me guess, you came out here to see if I'm okay. Are you okay, Nico? No, I won't be okay until we get Wanda back, but you already know that. I just wish Caretaker trusted me more. I mean, I'm not a kid, you know? I'm a ridiculously experienced witch with ridiculously amazing powers. She should be letting me use my talents to help the team, but instead all she does is doubt my ability to do anything. Just do not let her make you doubt yourself. Don't worry, I won't. I know who I am and what I'm capable of. I'm not gonna let someone as bottled up as her to tell me otherwise. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get her back. And when Caretaker tries to stop you? She can get out of the way. Or get run over. Now excuse me, I've got a free wand to spell to craft. Hey, can I ask a favor?
Hi. I like my personal space. Awesome. Thanks, Hunter. You have any ideas on how to keep this team from unraveling? Because I'd love to hear them. I'm at my wit's end, Hunter. Nico is hell-bent on finding some spell in Wanda's grimoire to remove Lilith's hold on our... <sighs> unfortunate friends. And I can't seem to dissuade her from putting our lives in danger again. You would think she would have learned her lesson with that magic mirror trick she pulled, but now she's just doubling down on darkness. What do you think I should do about her? Because I am at a complete loss. She is acting out because she is still grieving the loss of Wanda. She needs to heal. She needs to know you care. If we survive Lilith's assault on this world, then there'll be plenty of time to talk about our feelings on a psychotherapist's couch. Until then, she must learn to cope, as we all must. Nico is a talented witch, no doubt, but if she persists on this trajectory, she will suffer the same fate as Wanda. Perhaps you can talk her down. She's more likely to listen to you than me. Thanks, Hunter. Nico is certainly as daring as caretaker is cautious. Attempting to remove Lilith's corruption is not a magical endeavor for the faint of heart. Is it even possible to remove it? I'm not sure, actually. It's something I should do a little research on. But if it is, one thing is for sure. All magic has its price. The question is, are you willing to pay it to help get Wanda back? There is no price I fear paying. Even if it is great? Even if it is your soul? You are more vulnerable than you know. The crack in your collar may be hardly noticeable to the naked eye, but it's a significant crack in your energetic armor. A spiritual vulnerability that cannot be overlooked or understated. A vulnerability she will exploit. If you choose to defy Sarah, and help Nico remove Lilith's hold on Wanda, it might be at your own peril. Be assured, Agatha. I have no intention of unnecessarily risking myself or anyone else in this abbey. You always protected others from the powers of darkness. Even if it was your own mother. Something I loved about you when I was alive, and still love about you now that I'm gone. Whatever happens, Hunter, just remember to keep yourself intact. We can't take on Lilith without you. Hello.
Hydra's goons are getting a little too comfortable for my liking. I think it's time you took them down a notch. I got it. to cover your medical bills? to be the bearer of bad news, but it looks like you've got another problem on your hands. One of the fallen. I've heard a great deal about Wanda, but now I finally see her power with my own. Mother will never let me fall. Advantage is mine.
we go. That won't make this easier for you. Friends. Mother guides my hand now. Brainless tail, hold position. Forget this! Coming here was a mistake. Agatha was right. The power I feel from the... Shouldn't have come here. Hostile reinforcements inbound. Lose yourself in her words. Something's wrong. want to hurt you, Wanda. They care about you more than you understand. I guess the gloves are off. Technology. How could you do that to a friend? You're mine.
should help. Over the years, Lilith's disciples have come in many forms. Save this one just for you! You make that look almost too easy. See if they have an answer for this. centuries ago. According to plan. Weak, even for Hydra. Let's do it. Seems like it'd be cheaper just to replace you guys with robots. I bet Tony would cut Faustus a deal. Let's do it. And still reigning world heavyweight champion, Iron Man. Hopefully they learned their lesson. But we all know that's wishful thinking.
I appreciate this time away from the forge. Despite Tony's complaints, a bit of soldering is far less effort than wrestling a demon into daily submission. I understand. Keeping that demon in check is tougher than the others can imagine. Mr. Reyes can imagine. He's the only one with an inkling of the malignant power within. If we cannot contain it, we must destroy it. Should I ever fall, Mr. Reyes and his spirit of vengeance will know what to do. Which is the lengthy way to say I should relax now and again to maintain vigilance. You often say it the lengthy way. I refuse to dignify that with a response. To do so would prove me incapable of brevity. Which is quite simply untrue. You are doing it on purpose, are you not? Allow me to rebuke your slander with a dozen refutations. Point the first. Stop. As you wish. A joy to spend time with you, Hunter. Our time together is always illuminating, Hunter. What is on your mind, Doctor? Shh. Just stand here with me a moment. I want to see if you can sense what I'm sensing. <sighs> yes, I can see you feel it too. The magical energies that flow through the ether into the sanctum grow stronger. I've been locked away from them for too long, but when Tony and I complete your armor, it will be only a matter of time before we retake the sanctum. My mind races with nervous excitement at the thought of stepping back into my great cosmic library to stand in my power once again. Right now, I feel your excitement, and it is inspiring. Excitement is a contagious emotion, one I'm happy to share with you. I was so used to seeing the future, anticipation became a foreign sensation. Now that's all I feel. When I finally regain my sight into our many possible futures again, I'll finally be able to exhale. Until then, I must wait with bated breath, keeping faith that you will deliver a victory to us. I hope so. May the Eye of Agamotto watch over us all. Was my tincture of calming insight too strong? We shall be reunited soon. I cannot help but feel excitement. We are standing in front of each other right now. Not here, but in the physical realm. You don't need to be coy. I know you are coming. To where exactly? The Sanctum Santorum. The prophecy advances. As much as it will please me to see you, I beg you not to stand in my way. I cannot guarantee your safety this time. I am to believe you have been protecting me this entire time? I have allowed so many of my precious children to be sacrificed in your misguided war. I do it because I love you above all my children. But I can't be afforded such luxuries any longer. I have said all I can. It is out of my hands now. Actually, it seems to be all in your hands. I wish that were so. But you know the truth. 
He is closer than ever before. Who is? I would not dare say his name in this place. Still, he will bring us together after so long. Is it selfish of me to say that it's our reunion that matters most? We will see each other soon, Mother.